Hello my creative and crafty friends. This is Gloria Plunkett with designsbygloria.com here to share with you a cute video on how to create a mini bendy card. Is that not adorable? My sweet friend Kay Caps created this card and sent it to me during um, the ha Halloween season and I asked her if I could make a video on it and she said sure. So I'm going to share with you how she created this project she sent for me and a couple that I've created myself since I've received this. I absolutely love it. It folds flat so you don't have to put in a special box or anything to mail it and um, and it pops out and you have this beautiful little card as you can see here. So let me share with you how to make this. I'm going to have a free downloadable PDF for you um, on my blog that you can download so you don't have to write all the measurements out but in case you do I'm going to give you the measurements. Okay for this base it's going to be a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock, and you're going to score that at two and three quarters. The designer series paper that's going to go over that is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. The center panel is uh, two by four and a quarter, scored at half inch, two and a quarter inch, and four inch. The DSP piece that is going to go over this is one and seven eighths by three and a half. Then the panel that's going to go that creates your little bendy here, the cardstock is cut at one and one quarter by six and a half, and it's scored at half inch on both ends. The designer series paper I'm using here is cut at one and one eighth by five and three eighths. And for the back of the cardstock to write your sentiment, you're going to need two whisper white or whatever, um, very vanilla, whatever your light color cardstock is, cut at two and a half by four inches and you'll need two pieces. Okay, so I've already got everything pre-cut. So we're going to start with the card base and I'm going to adhere this designer series paper on top. I have not scored it in that way. I like to wait and that way I can just use my bone folder and make them both match. I'm using my multi-purpose liquid glue here. I pour it into this bottle because I absolutely love this fine tip. And I'm going to center this nicely over best I can on my cardstock. Then I'm just simply going to fold where I already have my crease on here. I'm going to fold it over and crease that crease again. <laughs> so that way I don't have to worry about scoring this piece and it might be off or something. I just find that's easier. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. Now we're going to work on the center panel, which again, we've cut a two by four and a half and we've scored it half inch, two and a quarter inch, and four inch. Again, I've already pre-made my score marks. Now I'm going to ask my designer series paper that is the opposite of the paper I just added over here um, previously. I'm going to center that on my cardstock as best I can. And again, this is already creased, so I'm just going to crease it again with my bone folder. And there is my center panel. Pretty easy, isn't it? I love this. The next one is my bottom panel, which is again one and a quarter by six and a half, scored at half inch on both sides. My designer series paper is one and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm going to add adhesive to the back and center that again as best I can. That's why I like using Tombow when I can because it gives me that little bit of wiggle room as you can see there. I didn't get it perfectly straight. So we're just going to bring it down a bit before it dries completely and reset it. No harm, no foul. Okay, I've already pre-scored both ends and I'm going to give them a little crease. Now I'm going to bring back in my panel and I'm going to Oh, you know what I should have done? I, I, meant to, I meant to do this and I meant to show you is before you add this piece, I 
usually add this at the end, but I didn't this time. This goes right in between this DSP and this um, cardstock because that's what my friend Kay did. See, she, she put this layer between this designer series paper and the back of the cardstock. I think it looks pretty and you get a cleaner look. Although this piece is going to be covering most of it in case you forget like I just did. So it's not a huge deal, but I just wanted to mention that because I think it looks prettier the way Kay did it. So I'm going to add some adhesive on this little panel, this little panel here. And I'm going to add that about uh, I'll measure it in a second. Give me one second. I'm going to center this crease with this crease. And try to get it as straight as I can. And I came down about one in one and a quarter inches from the top. I'm going to use my bone folder just to make sure that it sticks really well. And there we got that portion of the card. Next, I'm going to add this panel. Again, I'm going to add my liquid glue to the ends here. Only I did it on the wrong side. <laughs> Again, no harm, no foul. I want to do it to the back of this panel. And then I'm going to adhere that on the back right to where that crease is and make sure it's right at the edge there. Bring this side over. I'm going to make sure it's right on the edge and crease that right there. There we go. Now for the back, we're going to add the panels that we're going to use to cover up the back and for you to write your sentiment. Normally I use um, my Stampin' Seal Plus for this, but I didn't bring it here to my video table, so I'm going to use just a light touch of my Tombow glue here to add this panel. You can see you can't see the little squiggles if you just do a real light touch. If you glob it on there, you'll be able to actually see the squiggles on the on the front side of your card. So I just barely, just barely. Like I said, I normally use stamp and seal for for this area because I don't like the adhesive squiggles to show through. All right, use a bone folder to make you've got some good adhesion. And there's your bendy card. How easy is that, you guys? Now we're going to decorate it a little bit. Stamp this greeting on a 7 8 inch by 2 and a quarter inch piece of Whisper White cardstock with the sentiment from the Pampered Pets with, um, uh, of course my mind just went blank with my wet. What's the black ink we all use? You know, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I'll post it. You'll see it. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Mine just went blank. So I'm going to center that right here on the front of my card. And I've cut out these little, this one I use the die. These I hand cut. And I'm going to add this little critter right here. I think he's so cute. Look at that sweet little happy face. I love it. And make sure he's not sticking out the back very much. Put him there. All right. I'm going to bring in his little bowl and put it over here on this side. Again, I'm just going to add some liquid glue. Kind of tuck it right there. It's so sweet. And I'm going to add these little critters over here to show them saying hello. Oh, 
hope you have a great day. I know my grandkids gonna love this. I don't know what happened there. My video cut off, but all I did was add my little doggies to the top of my card. And there you have the mini um, bendy card. Isn't that cute? One thing I did want to show you for the little um, heart that I added to the dog collar. What I did was take my um, cherry cobbler dark um, blend and I only colored in on the inside and then left the outside silver. And I thought that turned out really cute too. So again, this is the card that my friend Kath, uh, um, K Cap sent me. I don't know why I said Kathy. Um, sent me and she sent it to me for Halloween and I absolutely love it. Came up beautiful. I love the, the black uh, bling here. And then this is the card I'm going to make or I'm planning to use as my Christmas um, card, um, a, a Christmas blendy card. As you can see here, I've got a Mary Joseph and the baby and I've got the little, the little donkey and the lamb here and I've got my little uh, palm tree. I did a little star from the um, Stitch Stars dies and put my sentiment on there. They might be a little bit different in color and stuff because I don't have um, all the same uh, cardstock to create as many as I need but I think that's going to be fun I'm really looking forward to creating those so I hope I've inspired you to go create something yourself create a mini bendy card and send them along to all your friends and family I know they'll enjoy it talk to you soon love y'all bye bye